Get ready to venture into the dark abyss as we review Neon Caves for the Nintendo Switch. Neon Caves was developed by Force of Habit and will be released March 27th, 2019. We were fortunate to be given an early access code by the developer in exchange for an honest review. Neon Caves is an endless arcade style shoot 'em up with bright graphics reminiscent of the days of the vet trucks. The game starts with a short tutorial explaining the ship's movements, much more on that later, and these yellow crystals you'll have to shoot or capture at the end of each wave to keep the cave from collapsing. Every new wave sends more creatures and different new enemies your way. These are mostly based on animals with different design changes to make them unique. Defeating these will give you points, which will be stacked for combos, and will be totaled on an online leaderboard once you die. Now here's the kicker. Maneuvering your ship is hard. It's not impossible, and it's not unreasonable, but it does take a while to get used to. And I think this may unfortunately deter some people from this game. And I say unfortunately because once you get used to the controls, the game is great. It isn't a good game despite the strange controls, but because of it. If this game controlled like Raiden or Galaga, it would seem stale compared to what it is. Your ship is propelled by its gun. When you fire, it sends your ship in the opposite direction you aimed. But what really is a lifesaver here is the anchor function. For a few seconds at a time, you can halt your ship, allowing you time to fire without movement. It's a cool twist, and the more I played, the more I became fond of this strange control style. The most nail-biting portions of the game are the previously mentioned yellow crystals, which all must be shot or collected at the end of each stage within the time limit, or you die. This becomes even more difficult in later waves when the cave expands and you must travel further to find those precious crystals. If the game lacks anything, it's maybe a variety of modes. There's only one real play mode, which is just the endless arcade mode, which is fun, but it doesn't really take up a lot of time. I would have loved to see some sort of survival mode where the waves just keep coming at you or different variations on the game, maybe a co-op mode or something. There is this one mode um, in the options menu. I don't know why this is here, but it just makes the screen shake a lot. I don't know if I'm missing something here, but I always just turned it off right away because it gave me motion sickness. So um, I was a little confused by that. As an endless arcade style game, your progress is lost each time you die. Though the gameplay can become addicting, I find myself unable to play for more than like 45 minutes at a time. Now, this isn't an Octopath level time muncher, and at its $3.99 price tag, it certainly isn't trying to be. This is a fun, pick up and go, casual yet difficult shoot 'em up for your Nintendo Switch. And if that's what you're looking for, then Neon Caves is definitely worth a try. This has been Sari Torres for the Pixel Slayers, and I hope to see you around again soon. Bye!